Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. If somebody's having trouble writing text to path on a banner shape, I don't know really when it changed, but you know, I think in 2019 they changed it. They put the banner shape in the common shapes. So it's right here. And if you just draw it, you got a banner. Now in 2018, the they're not in the uh, basic shapes. They've actually got them right here in banner shape. Same thing. You can, you can pick different banners and have that one. So we're going to go back to 2021. So if you wanted to write some text to path along this line, this thing is, well, just for instance, let's just make it 20 inches long. We're going to change our nudge factor to 22. And we're going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and then nudge it over with the right arrow key. Now take this banner and go to object and convert it to a curve. And then take your shape tool and grab those two nodes, right click and break it apart. Then you can take your virtual segment delete key and delete those three lines. So now you have a path. We need to look at it and it's really going the wrong way. So we need to select it, right click and reverse the subpath because we want it going from left to right like we would uh, to do a banner. So let's, uh, let's just use the word banner, make it like that, about that big, and then select your text, text to path, and it'll tell you when you're in the middle by that red line. So now that's not very cool, but we'll leave it like that. Now select it all, go up to object, break the text apart, and remember we nudge so we can nudge over here. And now we can set our nudge even something like, like a half inch. And we can take our text and bump it up. Probably, probably do a quarter of an inch or let's go point, point 0.1. And then we could center it like that. You might even be able to, I don't know if this will work, but we'll try C. E and it did, it did center it. So if we, let's nudge this up and we'll tell you what, let's nudge it up and over because that is a shape and we're gonna go E, C. And now your banner shape is along that banner. Your text is around that banner. I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.